the Queerdo Show! Hey there, it's David Hawkins. Welcome to the Queerdo Show. We've got a great episode for you today. I sat down for a talk with Mike Albo, and also Mary Skank and Trashley are off to Vegas. So come on, let's go. Queerdo! Cool Queerdo Comics! In this episode, Mike Albo. Excuse me, um, is this mini crab cake cruelty free? <laughs> it's just that I'm severely allergic to anything prepared cruelly, even crustaceans. <laughs> this is Mike Albo. Now, don't let his serious expression fool you. This writer, actor, and comedian is a seriously funny guy. But I was surprised to find out the gentle inspiration behind his scathing wit. Okay, I thought the world was going to be like free to you and me, and I thought it was going to be like the one segment that was called Brothers and Sisters, where it's just like all these races dancing and singing together, and then, so I grew up with this sort of 70s idea that life was going to be really uh, unified, and um, and then I was sort of bitterly disappointed when it wasn't, and so since then I've been really sad and angry, and I think I try to make that humorous somehow, that everyone's so stupid and divided and uh, completely ignorant. <laughs> Mike is probably best known for The Underminer a wickedly subversive character who has inspired several short films, a book, and even has been optioned for an upcoming Warner Brothers film. Let's listen to Mike's underminer. Is there something wrong? Well, you look sort of sad. No, I, you just seem sad. I mean, I know you're smiling, but you just seem sort of sad around your eyes. Oh, oh, hold on. Yes, transfer 16,000 shares into Chinese durables. Thank you. Oh, you must love working in Whole Foods. <laughs> I love Whole Foods. I love it. I, mean, I know it's sort of ruined a lot of small businesses and it's super expensive, but they have the best artisanal cheese selection here. I asked Mike, what's next? I'm writing, uh, I'm writing this article for GQ. Uh, I spent a week in this shopping center uh, that has facilities to live uh, above it. It's, it's this new kind of way of living in our disgusting consumer culture where you can live in a shopping center and it's uh, this trend that's actually happening around the country and the world. So I got to spend a week in a shopping center and live there, and it was really sick and disgusting, and I got to write about it. Nothing is sacred in Mike's satirical worldview. Politics, religion, consumerism, and of course, sex. Where's my boyfriend? Have you seen my boyfriend? Where's my boyfriend? Hot knit top eight? Oh no, I'm sure you've had sex with him. He's um, 5'10", uh, about 155 pounds. He's got hot nips, of course, and ripe pits. Um, he's of Cuban descent with a remote touch of Asian blood, but you know me, no Asians! <laughs> so, besides having sex, I'm just doing the usual crystal and sit-ups. <laughs> when I asked him if he had any advice to offer my queerdo viewers, he offered me this awesome personal philosophy. If I'm going to do a big show, and I'm going backstage and doing a big show, um, I always say to myself, um, be weird. I'm always like, be weird, be weird, be weird. Like, that's, uh, that's what goes through my head to try to get myself in the right mood. Um, so I guess it's just to be weird, you know. It's, I always say that to myself before. I... That sounds like great advice, Mike. Thanks for being a cool, queerdo comic. My eyes change color to what I wear. I really like to watch people. I take the worst pictures. I don't believe in organized religion. I'm so agnostic right now. I'm so bisexual right now. I'm so asexual right now. I think I was sexually abused when I was little and I can't remember it. I was really depressed last week. I need to be forced to go to the gym. I love the gym. I hate the gym. Exercise really gets a lot of stress. I'm just so stressed out sometimes. I'm just so stressed out. It's probably because it's fall. It's probably because the days are longer. It's probably because the days are shorter. It's probably because it's full moon. It's probably because I'm just so tired. Okay, well, good luck with your laundry. Good luck with the thing you're going to do. Good luck with your red top form. Good luck with those shoes. Okay, bye. <laughs> if you'd like to know more about what Mike's up to, just go to www.mikealbo.com. It's Mary Skank and Trashley. Hi, I'm Mary Skank. And I'm Trashley. And today, we've got a great, exciting show coming to you from Las Vegas. Yeah, and you know... What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, like all my pregnancies. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, well, today we're backstage at Caesar's Palace, and we're going to meet the one and only Cher. Woo! Let's hear it for Cher! Woo! Hey, I'm Cher. Hi, Mary Skank. Hi, Trashley. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. I got something special for your viewers. I'm going to reenact... 
my roll from mask. Here I go. I'm a biker, but my son looks like a potato. But I love him, but I'm a biker. He's gonna die. Wow, that was really great. Sure it was. So, Cher, how do you stay so young looking? Yeah, what's your secret? Well, if you really must know, I drink blood. I'm gonna drink your blood. Ah! 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 Yeah, give me that blood. Ah! 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 Ah!